Family and friends are remembering a high school senior killed in a car accident Monday afternoon. And it's the same stretch of road in Jackson County where an elementary school teacher was killed just a few years ago. And while some neighbors call the area dangerous, public safety officials, they disagree. Shereen Tagarobi reports. It's a bad stretch of road. Donna McFarlane lives a few doors down from the scene of not one, but two fatal accidents in the past three years. The visibility is bad coming around the curve and downhill. But officials don't call the stretch of M15 near Walcott particularly dangerous and say it's not recognized as a high speed area. 18 year old Matthew Wadke was wearing a seatbelt when he got into a deadly accident Monday afternoon. The accident involved the vehicle leaving the roadway, coming back onto the roadway, overcompensating uh, and sliding sideways into a group of trees there. Hard for Wadke's friends to process, even as they visited the scene Tuesday. Matt was an older brother to me, and he was the life of the party and always made everyone feel better. Across the street, the memory of a Northwest elementary teacher killed in a 2009 accident lives on. There's thousands of vehicles. Uh, it is the main way to get to Northwest schools. Deputy Director John Johnston says neither fatal accident involved heavy speeds. Both accidents were on dry, uh, clear days, and both similarly involved the vehicles going off onto the shoulder, coming back onto the roadway, losing control. While neighbors say some people ignore the 55 mile per hour limit. Speed and traffic coming in and out. They don't know how the road could be safer. I don't see how they could straighten out the curve or, or flatten the hill, and I think those are the issues. In Blackman Township, Shereen Tagarobi, Fox 47 News. A candlelight vigil was held at Northwest High School Spirits Rock Tuesday in Watkins' honor.